first of all, thanks for joining me once again. Hello, everyone. I got some amazing footage. Once again, look at this, guys. We're at the back of Plato Crater. You can see that white light there is what the transient lunar phenomenon that NASA always mentions. Well, that means that transient lunar phenomenon is 95% of the moon then because these white lights like you see right here behind Plato Crater is everywhere on the moon. And I'm not exaggerating. A good 25 to 35% of the moon has these white spots on them. Um, every size, both lit and unlit. Here is Sinus Iridum. You see at the bottom of the point there, we'll zoom in a bit here. The, the point really does coincide with my Sinus Iridum City video. And obviously at that, that distance, we can't see it properly. Here, look, I want to show you guys something and explain something to you. It's very important for you guys to understand this. You see all these white lines? These are massive walls. Whatever they may be, they're towering walls. Whether they be uh, uh, structures that are corridors uh, going from crater to, to crater, or they are hiding the path underneath. And at the bottom of the surface, there are different levels. In the holes and the depths are the installations. And this is where I'm making videos inside any hole, guys, here, left and right. There are cities and structures and anomalies in every part of the moon. It's totally fascinating. This video, slow motion and close up, you will see many areas and structures, pipes, even towers. Keep your eyes open and enjoy. A new contribution to the channel, Bruce's All Channel. Guys, Crazy Penguin, I can't thank you enough for sending me down a welding glass. My God. He offers me uh, to send down from the other end of the world, guys. He's not uh, close to Canada at all. Great guy. Uh, we have often great conversations uh, after most of my videos and, of course, uh, following what NASA is doing in future projects. Sending into deep space a uh, manned crew uh, and now the crew consisting of possibly two extra men which would back up the project to possibly pass 2019 and up to into 2020. It's due uh, to be, not to be announced, sorry, it's due to happen uh, at the end of 2018, I believe. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for that uh, mention, uh, Crazy Penguin. It's absolutely amazing uh, what, uh, what's going on. And of course, it's funny that they're aiming for the constellation of Orion. The craft will be called uh, Orion. Um, I'll have lots more information on it. I, I do want to look into it. I was going to mention a lot more, but I want to look into it. And also the serogenics that has to do with uh, often uh, what is serogenics. It's Walt Disney when he died. It's the first time often... Uh, that the people in the world heard of that for the first time and it's basically deep freezing a body at a certain temperature and maintaining it there uh, so that future may be possibly be able to reanimate them but nonetheless very interesting about this project uh, thank you crazy penguin and hey when at last comes in crazy penguin you can be sure as heck i'm going to get my first video up and a hey, brother, I really appreciate it. So guys, if ever you see Crazy Penguin in the messages or the comments, and I, I hope you do, give him a heads up and a thank you. The guy sent it down for free. I haven't given him any money whatsoever, and it did cost him the, to, you know, he boxed it in, bundled it all up, and sent it down. And he did pay uh, the obviously not free either to send it. It's so expensive sending down things to other countries. So. Thanks again, Crazy Penguin. So, I'll be filming the sun. Guys, can you imagine with my technique what I'll be getting on the surface of the sun? What could be there? I have no idea, but I can't wait to find out. And, yeah, this video, very revealing, the surface. So, as we go along in the video, I will be explaining to you some very important points uh, for you to look at and again proof for the disbelievers my friends Now here's a triangular structure coming up guys 
And I'm not talking about this big sort of triangular area. I'm talking about, wait for it, it's coming up. You will see that there's an area where there is a triangular structure right here. I'll tell you about when it's centering of the screen, which it's coming now into the center of the screen. Well, this triangular, um, there it is at the back there. It will come into the center. And this area has a triangular shape form on it, like the one I found um, at the crater just behind Monty's Apenninus and a few videos back. So yeah, hey, uh, spending, uh, how much money do you think? And where's all this money coming from? I mean, how much is it going to cost fuel-wise? Um, the people? I mean, it's mind-boggling. Guys, they'll be sending people from the moon into deep space on missions, go and two missions. So they'll be thrusted through this serogenics project into deep space, into the constellations, and then back to the moon and also to leave to go to Mars and back to the moon. So to leave from the moon, the main area to be able to do all the projects. Here's a beautiful view of Copernicus Crater. Now, as we're panning down, I'll be getting all these photos zoomed up, adding color, like uh, I'll be um, looking for structures, areas, and where I'm looking for them, I just want you all to know that they are on these. Everywhere you see a mountain peak or a structure or something sticking up, I'll, I'll zoom into it. And often, it's just basically where I'm finding the structures. It's not hard at all to find these structures. I'm not having trouble finding the structures. There are very many of them. They're plentiful. And before even doing my technique, obviously, they can be seen very well in the videos and photos that I'm uh, obtaining through my work. Just an amazing circle here. Guys, I am noticing differences. Now, listen, I'm not crazy. Lights are changing places. Uh, of course, 90% of the lights that are there have been there for thousands of years. Yes, okay, and they don't move. But in the levels, there are many lights that move around. As you see here, guys, as we're coming up to Copernicus, look at the mountainous terrain around it. It's a terrain that we're not often or even for some of us have ever seen at all being so close this is the difference we're at about 700 zoom here just to let you guys know 700 percent 700 millimeters look at the lights one two three four five it doesn't end but look at the smaller ones that look dimmer they're not dimmer they're lower they're at other levels many cut out areas see the light down here a little bluish u it's inside of these walls now look as we're going to pan over here look properly look carefully guys I'm trying to tell everyone that there's these gigantic walls on the surface. That's aside from all these circles, which are not craters. Look at the spherical entrances. Uh, sorry, the, sphere, the, the symmetrical sides that you can see here just on this crater at the bottom. You can see that there's no impact crater unless it was a block, a Lego block that impacted. It's perfectly symmetrical. See here, triangular structure at the back. Very, very symmetrical that you can see here once again. We, this is the second time panning over this area. As we're coming down here, look at the little bumps there. Those are areas I zoom into because there's a lot on the surface in other levels, the dark areas. It's very deep. It descends very deep into the levels. Copernicus Crater here once again as we're panning through. Mountains at the back. We don't see it when we're zoomed out, but when we zoom in, we see that there's so many uh, elevated levels. And yes, in the dark, you hear many people say uh, that it looks like glass because we can see through what seems like frozen glass. That there's another uh, object or area underneath. And in reality, it's just that it's a gloomy area in, in the depths of the darkness that uh, just descend basically and there are trails that descend there when we zoom into these photos we see very well the trails that descend into these dark areas here again another energy source up here that down to the center i call them center circles look at the center look at the circle on top with the entrances all the way around triangular entrances absolutely amazing castle bottom right we pro you probably even missed it line center coming right now 
hundreds if not a thousand miles long. And here, Plato Crater, as we see that light source at the back. But look at how the domes are placed. One, two, three, four, a larger one, smaller ones that leave off, some brighter ones that will be coming up. At the same time, we can see the back side of the moon. Look at the elevated levels. Beautiful surface showing here. Look, look here, the elevated levels. We can see them very well down there, all the lights and different levels. It's so deep. And from far out, looking at the moon, it doesn't look so deep. And looking at sinus iridum a lot these days. Look at here, tower there. To the right of the white spherical object, look at the towering object. And here the elevated levels that descend to the other crater at the bottom here. Over top, all these lines and walls hiding other um, uh, structures. And you can see greenery, um, or of course not greenery here because it's black and white, basically because it's not processed. But there is greenery here, when I, and this is where we're seeing this exact dark spot is what all makes the blues and greens in the photos of the moon, just to let you know. And here, panning off to the edge of the moon, other anomalies on the surface. Look at the lights, and it's full of uh, structures. You really have to zoom in to see them, but they're there. And people just aren't realizing it, or and or just don't care about it. I tend to think it's not that they don't care about it. I tend to think that uh, it's just overwhelming and hard to believe. Guys, I have to do a quick mention here about the problem I have with the notification box. I have been missing hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of emails per week. Uh, sorry, not emails, notifications, because they're not coming in. Unless you comment directly, uh, onto my video, I won't see. In other words, if you comment on Google Plus that you like the video that I posted there from YouTube, uh, I'm not going to see the comment. And guys, there's a lot of amazing comments, and I'm it, these comments mean everything to me, and I appreciate it. I just want you all to know that the problem that I have online is not intentional. I do want to respond to everyone, and I will respond to everyone in the community on YouTube. And I thank you all, whether you subscribe or not, for the interest. Guys, look at the surface. Absolutely incredible how clear it was uh, the other night. And we're seeing the difference of all the structure. Where are they going to land? Where can someone land on this surface? Have you ever seen a flat surface? Yes, of course. There are clearings, like these small areas. But then again, when you zoom in, <laughs> you see other structures there on the surface and or mountainous objects or structures or anomalies, whatever they may be. Guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support and the interest. And I'm here to stay, guys. It'll only be getting better. Thanks again, Crazy Penguin. That welding glass, I'll be looking for it this week, and I'll get my first video up. Thanks to you, buddy. I'm working on some installations on the moon, guys, clarifying some photos magnificently. And again like I'm going to do with this footage is I'm going to go through it like with a fine tooth comb till I get uh, more structures again to be able to show you guys and share with you. But as you saw in this video, I mean, what do you think, guys? You know, the surface looks different all the time. Even looking at my own videos, they're always different. I'm always going over the same areas. And I am seeing some areas with certain differences so yes i will be comparing it's all a matter of time eh? i need time i need more time i need more hands and i need uh, another brain to be able to look at my old footage 
So to compare, I will be doing it. Like I'm saying, I'm starting to notice it myself going over the same areas. So to be continued. Hey, more videos coming up, guys. I'm not done, eh? Uh, I'm working on another one today. And uh, some more great photos and some new finds on the surface of the moon coming straight for you. I hope I get the moon tonight. I'll let you know. The music in this video was played by music artist Kevin McLeod. If you want to hear his music, go to incompetech.com. And, well, here's my contribution to the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching.